In this video, uh, we'll talk about how to find the drift velocity of electrons in a wire. So the inf given information we have is a 10 gauge wire. So in the electricity, we measure the wire in terms of the gauge. So the 10 gauge wire means it has a diameter of 2.59 millimeter. Okay, so if you see a wire, any wire, and it says 10 gauge wire, that means the diameter is 10.2.59 millimeter. And the current through the wire is 5 ampere. And the density of free electrons in the wire is given by 9 times 10 to the 28 per cubic meter. That means in a in a one cubic meter volume, you have this many electrons. That is called the density of free electrons. And now we need to find out what is the drift velocity. Again, remember the drift velocity is the average velocity with which the electrons move inside a conductor. So here, first thing I will do, I will write down the all the given values. The diameter is given, which is two point five nine millimeter, and and changing into the meter. If it is a millimeter, the one millimeter is one times ten to the negative three meter, and the charge density is given. The density of free electrons, which is nine times ten to the twenty eight. The current is given, which is 5 ampere. Now we need to find out the uh, drift velocity. The first thing we have to do, we have to find out the cross-sectional area. The cross-sectional area. So the cross-sectional area, if the diameter is given, this is the diameter. If the diameter is known, is given, then this is the formula for calculating the cross-sectional area of a cylinder or of a wire pi d square over 4 and I'm just plugging the value of the diameter if we solve it then this is the cross-sectional area or the cross-section this area here the, the the current in a wire is given by this equation here in terms of the drift velocity n is again the Carrier density, the density of free electrons, A is the area, Q is the charge, and V is the, the drift velocity. And we're going to solve for the drift velocity. So it will be I over NAQ. Now let's plug in all the values. I is 5 ampere, that's given right here. N, this N is given right here too. A, we just found it out, the A value here, and just plugging it here. Q, this Q is the charge of an electron. And if you remember, the charge of an electron is a negative 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 coulomb. So this is the charge of an electron. If I solve it, what I get is this number here. 10 to the negative 5 meter per second. That means in one second in one second uh, this will be this has to be 66 okay just so in one second it moves about 66 micros micrometer or in terms i can here write down this one is 66 negative micrometer per second that means in one second it only moves about 66 micrometer and 66 micrometer is about the thickness of your hair so it moves super slow super slow okay and what does the negative sign tell you this negative sign this negative sign simply means the charge carriers are the electrons which are opposite to the direction of conventional current what does it mean if i look at this the diagram here 
the current direction is always from positive to negative terminal and if the charge carriers are electrons then the electrons move from negative to the positive terminal and you can see that this positive will attract the electrons so the electrons move from negative to the positive terminal that's what the negative sign stands for okay so now i had i do have a question for you let's say you have one meter wire one meter wire okay just a one meter wire if you have one meter wire now let's find out how long does it take for the electrons to to move from one end to another end let's calculate this one so the time is s over the the velocity this is the one meter we have assumed one meter and the drift velocity is 6.6 .6 times 10 to the negative 5 and if you solve it you'll get this second if you convert this into hours the hour is 4.21 hours so what does that mean that means in order to move in order the for the electron to move this one meter length this one meter length it takes to six four point two one hours almost four and a half hours or four uh, four point more slightly more than four hours so this is now confusing this doesn't make sense or does it and why does it make sense let me tell you the moment you turn the switch on the light the light bulb turns on it doesn't take any second to turn the light bulb on after you turn the switch on or if you turn the light off it immediately shuts off so though there is no delay it doesn't take four and a half hours after you turn the switch on for the light to glow on no it doesn't happen it happens immediately then how come it just takes this much hours for the electrons to travel one meter okay so that's the thought question for you if you have the answer write down your answer in the comment section okay and i will get back to you if you write down your answers okay so this is it this is how do you find out the drift velocity uh, in a metallic conductor thank you so much if you have any questions write down your questions in the comment section below and do not forget to like share and subscribe the channel thank you